How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today, we're going to be looking at another squishy toy. Now, a while ago, I did a bit of a series on like a banana and a fruit and whatnot, but this one is actually animal shaped. If we look really close, there's something different about it that actually has a bunch of styrofoam balls inside of there versus the uh, kind of Orby style kind of little gooey balls. And I think it's gonna kind of give it a different feel and I'm kind of excited to see this little kind of creativity they put into this. So this is what the general packaging looks like. Then on the back, if we focus in, it says squishy toy. And I don't know how to pronounce that. Is that French? I have no idea. Anyways, it shows a kind of like a fish, a penguin, and then another kind of fish, and then uh, a bigger penguin. So I guess there's kind of different versions of the same thing, but uh, slightly different varied designs. And if we focus down here, it says imported into the USA and this is by Green Bear International, and that's uh, a lot of the products I reviewed before are by Green Bear International. I believe it's the Dollar Tree Store kind of brand of toys, and uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff there, surprisingly. Let's go ahead and open it up. Right away, we can see it looks super shiny. It's like, kind of like jiggling too. I'm gonna pull it out. Ooh, that feels weird. Let's go ahead and focus in on its face. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh, but I mean, it's so derpy. Look at its mouth. It's like somebody wanted to paint a tongue, but they like just went but I mean, it's a dollar toy, so I can't really say anything. But the derpy eyes are definitely funny. Let's go ahead and squeeze it. Oh yeah, that's weird. It kind of gives off like a... I don't know if you can hear that. Hold on. Kind of like a, a rubbery kind of like sound like a like like general like styrofoam noise but in combination with the sticky outside and the kind of like i don't know what's the feeling or the the of touching styrofoam it kind of has like this resistant rubbery feel to it i guess it kind of feels like it vibrates when they rub together a little bit and the bottom right here you can see this is where they sealed it off Evidently, uh, they sealed some of it into here, it looks like. I do not trust this. I can feel them, like, almost at the top right here. That's definitely gonna be, uh, the break-open point. Here's the... kind of sealant nipple, I guess. <laughs> and then, uh, let's do a stretch test and hope that all these balls don't fly out everywhere. That'd be unfortunate. Reasonably stretchy. The stretch is pretty good. You could do a little bit of a flip as well. And then the mouth also stretches and the balls can even go into the uh, nostrils. So you could do like a kind of thing like that. You could do like a talking. Hello, I am Mr. Fish. Hello. But yeah. This is an interesting little kind of uh, fun toy to kind of maybe mess around with or squeeze while you're working on something or maybe just like a general stress ball of some sort. You probably throw it at the wall and it'd probably stick too. What do you guys think? I think it's an interesting little kind of, uh, you know, plaything and uh, definitely interesting and different than anything else I've felt or heard. But yeah. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And a little bit of a channel update if you're still here. I recently picked up a little bit of part-time work, so I've been a little bit busy and preoccupied. I'm trying to push out videos every Saturday, and if not, Sunday to Monday. Um, I know it's a little bit hectic, but bear with me. A lot of stuff going on this year, and uh, I'm just trying to push forward and uh, always make sure I upload something to the channel for you guys, because uh, you guys mean a lot to me. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.